you're entering a working farm environment, please keep well clear of moving machinery, vehicles and animals. Please ensure children are supervised at all time. <laughs> Our butcher tractors out already. Quite a setup, isn't it? Oh, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. The bang is somebody reversing their trailer into the fence here. Wow. I bought my first open crank Morning. Mind the right field. Look at this. Over here. People plying over there. Goodness. This is some scientific thing. So are these the horses All right. that do the ploughing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, there's um, three teams here today. When I was a boy, I was brought up on a farm in Kenya. My oh, dad, in Kenya? All yeah, right. My dad had an ox, oxen team oh, ploughing. Oh, yeah, yeah. No oxen here? No, no. Oh, yeah, I played, I must have been 20 years ago, there was Charles Martel. He, he had a team of oxen. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's fantastic. I, do, I wasn't quite sure what to expect today, but I'm blown away by the, the range of stuff. Fantastic. That's it. Well, good luck. Yes. And I look forward to seeing it. So we've got army vehicles on the left. We've got all sorts of small tractors and things in the middle. Looks like a, a children's amusement place in there. Looks like tractor rides going to happen here. A whole range of tents and and some trailers, we'll see what happens. That's an old looking tractor. And great big modern thing, modern tractor over there in the distance. Looks like a walking stick carving horn carver there. What's going on over here? <coughs> oh, it looks like music top. That probably means copyright on videos and all the rest of it. Yeah, can always remove the clips. Vintage tractors. It's not cold, is it? No. This is better than what it, they said it was going to be. Yeah. Well, the lorries transporting tractors. Tractors support transporting tractors. This is a tractor I remember. We had Ferguson's on our farm in Kenya. Maybe this is a warm-up place to make sure it's flying properly. Straight enough line. What are you looking to adjust? Opening. Okay. So it's got to be about three inches, but I'm a bit shallow, really. Okay. But uh, I've got to 
he's a venting in the mall. Yeah, yeah. Go after Good morning. Good morning. 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 <laughs> Are they yours? Yes. Yeah? <laughs> Not looking to sabotage the opposition. <laughs> <laughs> Just seeing if I got them mixed up. Because we've got them right. <laughs> yeah. They look lovely. <laughs> Couple of younger ones up there. What I'm seeing is more and more tractors coming in and plying and goodness knows how this works, but hopefully I'll find an official somewhere at some point to tell me what's going on. This is a 1952 Ferguson, probably similar to the one we had on our farm in King. Up into another field. Wow, look at that. What a setup. Tractor just in, to the left here. But look at the across the top. Oh. All these vehicles from, I don't know how far they could come from. What a sight. Looks like each tractor has to plow its own furrow. Not happy? So far. <laughs> I'm, I'm so impressed. I, I thought it was just a little flying match, but not this. <laughs> oh, it's very serious. No simple flying match here. More tractors over the top. Everywhere. Hello. Hiya. What's he trying to do? Do you mind explaining to me? Well, he's... <laughs> What's the objective of the exercise? I think... No, he's too shallow on the front, isn't he? He's going to fix him, mate. So he's at about straight line and well, he's depth. Got to be straight, yeah, but he's got to clean the bottom out with the back for her now because he wants what we call a little sole for her. He wants to put up against his front for her. He's trying to get his front for her the same as the one that's on the left when he did on the way up. Okay. So to me, it looks a bit shallow to me, but I don't know. I mean, he's a good player with mine. Yeah. So, Is he from around here? The Welshman, that's all I can tell you. <laughs> no. That's good enough. Video. I've seen him on videos a lot. He's that bad with chap here. He's very good. Mm -hmm. isn't he? Oh, John, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's a European champion, this chap. Yeah. He's no first one for two years ploughing. Oh, yeah. That's it. Yeah. It's, it's all been cancelled, you see. Yeah, yeah. 24, 23. He'll go that way because he always turns to the highest number. He'll leave a quick piece in the middle to finish that. Okay. And uh, it'll be an inch. Which you can easily in our same city. Instead of him watching when he goes in the furrow, he's always got that wheel in the furrow on the right. When he's finishing, if he's done, he's watching the one on the left and he, and he puts the plough over so he's plowing, he sets what he wants left, not what he's plowing in front. You don't mind if the front goes in and out a little bit. As long as you leave a nice narrow, say 18 inches, you crack it and it's straight. But you can do it. And is he a farmer? No, I don't suppose he is. I mean, everybody does it. You know, yeah. you know, never a farm. I mean, if you work on the old much if you have a mountain and sea defence and stuff like that. Yeah. Anybody will sort of, you know, even do with a soil, if you know what I mean. But yeah.
Yeah, interesting. And, is, and that must be the normal depth of the plow. No, he's not deep enough. Yet. He's not deep enough. No, no, you work in over about eight furrows to get down to about six inches. Okay. On the general purpose plows. Well, you obviously know your stuff. I do play myself, but I couldn't get in today because I left it a bit late. <laughs> you know. God, they even have a cut off. And how many people well, can. Yes, I, I just entered one. I can't remember where it was now. Yeah. Um, I've. I sent it up on the 4th and that was a cut-off date and that was what they call an early early entry one it was 15 quid over that it was 20 that's the first time I've ever seen it wow. yeah but I, th I just think it's wonderful to see this yeah. all see, alive this is how you should play if you know what I'm saying yeah. uh, what they call commercial plowing where they just want to get it done and it's stubble they'll put two furrows that way they'll come round and put two the other way that's your start which is what he's doing here You've got a piece of ground in the middle like that's not even cut. What's the point of plowing? You're cutting it off to cut the kick kill the weeds. Mm. That's how you're supposed to do it. That's got a split. This is good. He yeah. is good. Well, European champion and British champion, you've got to be, I mean. Goodness me. Yeah. Some serious plowing people here. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah. No, he's very good. Take his time and everything. So how many, do they have to get, plow a whole strip or what? what is um, well, you you plow 11 or 12 times round when he starts putting it together. Yeah. For us I'm talking about. Yeah. And then you always turn to your highest number and then you go down this side first. You measure it between. If it's wrong, you've got two runs to put it right. To get it parallel. Okay. Yeah, two runs. And then you bring it in and then you've got to finish. He's got to be straight and not too deep. Um, some places you, uh, you've got a lot of straw, you've got a hell of a lot to, to bury the straw, that's the old point of it then. If you've got a lot of straw show, you lose a lot of point. Mm. Thank you. Thank you very much, well, I really appreciate right. that. Take care. Right. Fine. Mm -hmm. The older ones, well I'm one of the older ones, I'm 75. Yeah, yeah. But um, they're coming up on this so we must stay the steward a bit and keep my eye on them. <laughs> but some of these boys here, they haven't got to be doing any handling of that now. Look, they've got to just do it with the plows. Yeah, they, yeah, they? yeah. So you're the referee. <laughs> no. That's, that's where I got the stick. <laughs> <laughs> no. Alright, you been alright? <laughs> <laughs> so are you now waiting for the judges? Yeah, fantastic. Are you a farmer? Yeah. So this is your hobby as well, is it? Supposed to be, yeah. Yeah, brilliant. It's just lovely to see. It's, uh, I couldn't believe how many um, tractors were here. I've been up in Scotland for the last 50 years and in the Highlands in Perthshire. Yeah. And the plowing competition is nothing like this. No, no. Yeah, it's better, better than checking it all in. Yeah. I think that's quite a hard task they've got, don't you? Yeah. See you later. Uh -huh. Take care. Quite local because these are things they just move around and although they're like a monmouth based flowing society they often just yeah. can hear you than monmouth so when they had a produce tent I said ah how many many shows this year I'll have to go so, yeah fantastic that's so, what makes so, it yeah so I gotta walk around the camera and see what you take and
I think they're all waiting for the judges. Oh yeah. Over the top, and what I'm going to do now is head over to the field here, which has horses in it. Different sort of climb. Again, I didn't expect this.
What sort of tractor is this and what would they have used it for? Uh, market gardening. Okay. Uh, it's a Colt, a Martin Markham Colt. There's only 46 of this one made, Mark II. And where were they made? Stanford, at Martins. And, and what sort of year would they have been used? Uh, this one was 63. But they made the Mark I earlier. But this was made in 63. Do you have a farm or do you have a market garden? Or? No, I just have a, a bungalow and keep the trailer. And, and what made you get interested in, in... Oh, well, I've been in agriculture all my life. I started as an agriculture engineer and then uh, worked up through agriculture. You know. There are tractors here that I've never seen, and this is one of them that I've never seen. Are you farmers' wives or no, what's up on the farm? We were just um, interested <laughs> for the weekend and saw the signs for competitions. Yeah. We so, so where do you, are you live locally or not? No, we don't live no, from London, no, I'm afraid. No, no. It's all very new to us. Don't be afraid. <laughs> you know, I've come down <laughs> from In Prussia, we have plowing matches, but nothing like this. this oh, is really? Is this a good, are you a plowing yeah. match like pro? Do you know what you're looking at? No, here? I go and speak <laughs> to people, but I do videos. Oh, okay. Oh, so okay. look for yourself on there. You're gonna <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> He has a lungs and he and he's driving them himself and they're not very old horses, they're only uh, five, five year old, both of them. But um yeah, so. Yeah no it's it's lovely to see. Ah, thank you. Yeah, it is lovely to see. The trouble is they're all getting less and less. Less and less of us. But if you've got the young lady helping you, maybe she's the next generation. <laughs> you've get, got to get more people, got to get... Yeah, you can. We're looking for a youngster now who wants to be into it or wants to learn. But like surely it's tell you they're easy. not about. No. But there's a lot of horses around here, aren't there? Yeah. Mm. But none of them want to plough. Yeah. We've got one young girl who's not far from this area. She I was with a bloke from down in um, Fishguard, down by Fishguard. She'd be the youngest. Yeah, and she's keen, like, and she plays against us. She's not your today, but she, she but she's, she's really keen, and that's what you want. Yeah. If they're not keen, it's a waste of time. Absolutely. Yeah. It's like anything. You've got to, you've got to put the time your into it. Your heart's got to be in it. If it's your it's not in it, and you, you're not, you, no. Yeah. Is it, if it, you just like come and you oh that's nice I'd like to do that but you, you you've got to be yeah, yeah nothing nothing falls off a tree without work oh, no. <laughs> and, it, and, it, and it's hard work believe me yeah, no. <laughs> nice being to you take anyway, care thank cheers you. bye bye hello, hello. <laughs> Was watching the guys with the horses, yeah. and they're saying they need pe more people with horses. You don't have horses. No. No. No, we don't. So you're not. You're not plowing. No, I just come for a look. To see if it's up to scratch, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just, oh, it's nice to see it all, isn't it? It is. This is the lovely. Yeah. Well, I, I just didn't expect this. You know, I, I just. Um, the sheer variety of equipment, machinery, yeah. some livestock. Yeah. You know. 
good, isn't it? Yeah, they always, they always make a good effort here, to be fair. Everything's so perfect, but nothing's so perfect for you, is it? And are the tractors in different classes? Hi, ah, like I'm in the vintage. Right. The others over there, they're all the three. And champion, Welsh champion, English champion. Wow. And are you a champion? Hey? Are you a champion? Well, champion in your own field. Yeah, well, if it's my own girl, I know. I won't bother. You just stick it, take a line. And you throw it on the floor as long as it's turned over and then finish it off. But uh, of course I'm on the end, I've got to make the line there. So what's the, what are you using the measure for? Ah, well, see, I'm number 34. Yeah. And i got to throw the number 35. Right. Well, I'm on the end and there's a mark up there, so that must be the length. I'll have to make another you know, um, a line so I can come and finish this bit. Well, See that bloke next you've got a You've got a plough down right up to the mark of you. Well, see that gentleman next door? Yeah. He got a plough from me, then I got a plough from them to this uh, unknown yeah. person. <laughs> <laughs> Hey young man, is that your sheep? Yeah, it is indeed. Wow. And what's it called? Um Dorset. 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 And how old is it? Um three years old. Three years old? Yeah. And and uh, what competition is it in? Uh, I'm the young hands. Yeah, very good. I'm impressed. And I like the tie on too. Yeah. Very smart. Do you have to wear a tie for school? No. No. But for judging your sheep you have to. Yeah. Yeah, fantastic. Are well, you a farmer's wife? <laughs> yeah. So why are you here? No, my um, my son's ploughing. Oh. Yeah. So, so he's not on a farm. He works on a farm, but oh. he's not. Oh, fantastic! So, Where is he? Uh, in Rockfield. Where, which field is he in? Oh, he's in the big big tractors on Denbottom. Oh, there are even more. I can't believe how many tractors there no, are. That's right. Yeah. Anyway, you know, I was going to see him. Yeah. <laughs> Oh no, this is the best one they can reach in shop. Oh yeah. That gives them a good smack. That's a knob carry, isn't it? Right here. Yeah, it works. Can you tell us a bit about the engine? Is it yours? My, mine and my son's. Okay, and it, it's a very early engine. Yeah, very early. Yeah, we like to do, that's what I like to do the display board, 1916. So it's one of the early ones. And what would it have been used for? Anything where you, where you put a, a belt pulley or pulley onto the flywheels. And so any farm wise with a drive, anything where you put a belt on and drive. So they would drive them like uh, corn grinders or water pumps or there's lots of different things. Anything what was belt driven. That was portable, drag it to the field. And the farmers would have had that, would they? Yeah, that's what they had, that was their thing. Or they could have the, the lighting sets, the ones that were running probably faster, running inside, generating electricity. So they were the, yeah, these were the more portable ones, drag around the farm. And what's the earliest date for these sort of engines? No. They are before the 1900s, some of the ones, but they're more common about the 1900s on, a bit more produced. Okay, and so they... More, more American as well, this is American. Okay. More the, the, the English ones as well, a bit later, but more enclosed. The Americans like the open cranks, we could see everything. Yeah. But um, the English were more uh, enclosed. Health and safety. <laughs> I suppose, yeah, a lot of that, yeah, probably, even yeah. in those days. 
no, but it was better. They, at least they kept their oil inside the thing. This one, yeah, fantastic. With the, with the American ones, you've got to keep topping the oil and the water up. Yeah. So you've got to do a bit of work to it. But the English ones were just enclosed and looked after themselves. So. Fantastic. Yeah. Right. It's lovely to see them running. Yeah, we've got a good little lot here today, haven't we? Yeah. 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 Lovely. It's nice to take them around the shows. Yeah. yeah. Thank, thank you very much. Okay. Yeah, you're right into where they are. Hello, hello. You're right. My God, my God, my kill yours. Oh, miss, I'm sure you will. If it speaks softly. Hey, yeah. How are you? Good. It's some event, isn't it? It's great, isn't it? What is it? Lunch break, is it? Hey. Is it lunch break? I don't know what it is. We're all having a conversation. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Waiting for the judges, perhaps. Could be, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's happening? So, why, why is there no plan going on at the moment? Oh, we're just waiting for the judges to come around and judge this section of the... And is it the same judges that judge all the ploughing? I don't think it is. I think there might be separate ones for the, for the reversibles, as, as far as I understand. Yeah, and somebody said to me, this is the easy ploughing. All oh, right. Well, it might be. No, no. It's the more comfortable ploughing, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, they're, well, they're the latest ones, aren't they? Yeah. 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 The individual Bruce. furrows. Yeah. In one go. What is it? Four, five. Got five on that one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so they're not the judges. Does it look good? Yeah. <laughs> Is that your son? Yeah. 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 I was chatting to him earlier. Yeah. So are you a farmer? Yeah. So, so you're coming to see if it's up to scratch, are you? Yeah, yeah, see if the uh, hours compares nowhere near sort of thing. So <laughs> <laughs> see how it should be done. Yeah, well it's, it's nice to see people doing it. Yeah. The variety of tractors and things. Yeah. 
You plow, do you? Uh, grandfather does plowing, but um, he hasn't skilled you up yet. No, no, he hasn't. No, I still got to learn his trades yet. <laughs> Turn was it? Something like that. Mm. Well, right. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> Thank you. Fabulous. Oh, good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Absolutely fabulous. Please come again. And yeah. Well, can you well. guarantee the weather? Yes. <laughs> we guarantee it'll be unpredictable. <laughs> you know, it's been, it's been a real treat. Oh, good. Really, really oh, thank you. Thanks. Thanks to everybody. Oh, pleasure. Thank you. Oh, well, well, well. Flat in the field. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they weren't up like that. No, no, they were in. in. Did you get it? Right. Yeah. Well, my opening uh, point, which is an extra wide one, snapped Ooh, it in half. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so who had it in for you then? Justin, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> Justin <laughs> Cook. <laughs> Any good? Not bad, is it? Yeah, I just saying to Dad now he can't come today because his tie's broke. But uh, I was saying it's pretty tidy, that, isn't it? Very tidy. Yeah, very you, good. Do you plow? 
No, my dad does. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. So you're sending him some intelligence, are you? Hi. <laughs> These are all novices this side, is it? I don't know. I don't yeah, know I think, about them. Well, not they and then there, but I think these might be novices. Yeah, it's, it's fantastic. I it's brilliant, yeah. yeah. The whole the whole event is, I didn't expect anything like this. Is this the first time you've been to one? Yeah. 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 How did it go? Well, not too bad. I think I've made a right picture of the finishing because you've got to turn one back opposite. Okay. That's the challenge of it, isn't it? Oh, gosh, no. Yeah. If you don't get it right, you know, uh, never mind. I've done it. Absolutely. That's it. Well done. Superb. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming today. It's been a wonderful day. Um, fantastic to see so many of the general public join up as well and take your money to see good ploughing generally. Um, before we sort of get into the prizes, um, I'd just like to mention a few people who historically have helped the society, society beyond all measure. Um, Mrs. Maureen Teague, Mr. Jeff Turbot, Mr. John Cale, and John Williams. And in particular, our old chief steward, John Tucker, and our old chairman, Bill Wood. Can we have a round of applause, and please, our absent friends? What about this beast? Goodness me, look at this. Front, back, even bigger than ever. Prizes have been awarded. Missed that. And our young man looks as though he got a, a prize here. First. Hmm. Well done. Today wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for the generosity of landowners and farmers, which you're all aware of. I'd like to thank the Beret family for allowing us to be here, and the Williams family for kindly doing everything they do for us, and I have done on many occasions. Um, we're extremely grateful, and this wouldn't happen without their help, so thank you very much. Just overheard there that 72 tractors have entered. What a show. You put them both on the trailer? Yeah. On one trailer? Yeah. Whoa. I'm intrigued. When I get them to it. <laughs> Particularly, there's two people that without this, these people, this society just wouldn't exist and wouldn't function, and that's Ray and Julie. Yeah. And the work yeah. they do is phenomenal. Look at that! Yeah. Can I get a photo, buddy? Turn around, that's great. Lovely.
First prize, class one, open world style, is Alwyn Davis. Well done, Alwyn. Thank you very much. There's your thing. Would you have something? Oh, Gentlemen, oh, okay. there, take off. Oh, okay. Hang on. Right. You turn around and smile. Smile? You'll have a photo taken. Cheese. Cheese. Right. Can I have your signature, please? Alwyn, you don't get out without signing. No. We want it back. Oh, Thank you. I couldn't see how that was going to fit on there. There we are. Oh, what a, what a treat. What a treat. You never believe what they've gone through to get that on there together. Yeah. Well, you, you, you exactly. And even when you drove it on, it was, you've got about two inches either end. Yeah. 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 So how many years have you been doing this for? Not long. Not long? Since uh, 2000. Very good. Millennium. Very good. Millennium I done the first match. That's right. And, and were you brought up on farms? Well, yes and no. I was a mechanical engineer all my life. Wow. But uh, my early days when I was 12, 12 up until I was 14, I work part-time, Saturdays and weekends, weekends and holidays on the farm. Mm. And you enjoy it? Yeah, mm. well, and when I retired, I thought, well, I'll, the interest was there, and I, I had the means, so... Well done. Yeah. Well, I, I found it fascinating, you, to get that onto that trailer, I thought, how on earth are you going to do that? But you had a few tricks up your sleeve. Well, a lot of the boys, they put it round the other way, the right way round. Mm -hmm. But they uncouple it, mm -hmm. and they put it up against the headboard, and then drive the track drip behind it. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was a lot of messing about. And then I tried it all together, the right way round. And I was... Uh, I won very far off by taking it because I got a winch on the front. I could take a pin out and winch the plow up to the tractor. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I tried that. And I thought, oh. So I thought, easiest way, really. It's a lot of messing about, but it's a tore down backwards. Put a, I mean, a, like a draw bar to go on the back. <laughs> and then, way to go. I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed that. Yeah. I, I couldn't see how you were going to do it, but you had a system <laughs> and you worked methodically through it. And, and yeah. I made a 
two steps. I took the headboard off and made two steps in case there was a bit of an overrun mm. because with the headboard it wouldn't be it wouldn't go on there. Yeah, yeah. So I take the headboard off, put the two steps on. So if I did happen to go a little bit, it wouldn't go over the foot. A bit of safety. Thank you very much. I, that, that was a real... Well, I'm glad you've got some of it on there. Yeah, a real treat. So when am I going to see that? First prize, Simon Taylor. And, oh, sorry, a joint, joint first prize with John Hodges. So you're going to fight over the trophy. You're going to fight over the trophy. You're Simon? Yeah, I'm sorry. Congratulations, Simon. You've got a trophy here. Um, Can have a photo, if I hear, please? Is John about? Yeah, there's John. Do the photo with you. One with you first. So if you work for six months, you can have it. Or two of them. Or two of them. Or three of them. <laughs> okay. Anywhere, anywhere you're public. Oh, right. Okay. And John? Hang on. Right, that's what we get. Thanks very much. <laughs> well, who's having the trophy first? But well done, John. <laughs> Lovely, thank you. Yeah. Can you sign and it? can you sign yeah. it, please? Can you sign it? plough. This is quite crucial to finishing all this day's work and so taking absolutely every care as I understand to get it right. Beautiful to me, but whether that's beautiful for the judges, I don't know. How was it? Not too bad. Not too bad. Good stuff. Class three open vintage hydraulics. Hydraulics, sorry. First prize is awarded to Emlyn Jones. Well done, Emlyn. Thank you very much. So are you the driver? What? Are you the driver? I will be, I think, because he's probably going to be way too hot and uncomfortable to drive home. So you're the chauffeur? I think I will be, yeah, once he's got his... Once I've helped him rope it up and everything, yeah. he's down there getting food, I think, at the moment. So how are the horses getting on? Still here? <laughs> so you don't fancy driving horses? Um because they're looking for people. When I was younger, oh, that, I was very they, they, they were saying they, they love to get people on board the and then I was interviewing them over there. So if you if you fancy that I'll go and just talk to them. Put your coat down on the end. Where the, the cups? Well, catch all of them, right? You don't push down. So if you push down, you place them to go. All right? And then you 
Watch it out when you listen. Try to keep a little bit of fair on that side. Alright? Are you ready for this? Yeah. Gently then, sexy. I'm not holding the crowd. It's somebody else. Oh boy. Gently. Come on out. Gently. Well, class 15 horse plowing, high cut. Roger Smith first. Well done, Roger. Thank you. you said it wasn't straight. It wasn't. <laughs> Thank you. Have you a quick picture taken? Yeah. Could you try this, Roger? There we are. Okay, cheers. Thank you very much. Thanks for the thingy, Roger. Oh. Come on. Peace Davis. Well done, Reese. Thank you very much. Well yeah, done, photo. Have your photo taken as well, please. Okay. Is it, um, <laughs> turn, turn around there. Receive your is this award. Is this the cup, is it? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Do you know how to clean it? Yeah, I'll watch that, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> First prize, Charlie Molson. Well done, Charlie. Ferguson class, class, class six. First prize goes to David Bryant. Have you seen what they've been no, doing? I haven't watched it. <laughs> <laughs> Put it first. So they can see. And I need a signature off you before you disappear. Thank you. Thank you. So you're not into ploughing, you get to drive a tractor. But not plying matches. Hmm? Not plying matches. Not plying. I, it just doesn't interest me. Yeah. But I do like. Um, we've been on the national runs and the Welsh national runs, and that's really good. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Mm -hmm. How do you get on? I have no idea. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, yeah. It's just that some days are better than others. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, cl class 7, the high cut goes to Derek Needham, wherever Derek is. <coughs> well done, Derek. Uh, <laughs> day. You might want to take your mask off when you turn around for your photo. I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah we've got to see anyway, who it is. You look a bit daft otherwise. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that. Oh, that. Well done. Thank you. Can You've I got a sign over there now.
prize for the most interesting tractor. This is the John Priest Memorial Cup. Goes to Max Hole. Dirty, I think it means. Wow. I think they made that up for you. Oh, they must have. Well done. Thank you very much. Photo, photo, photo. Photo. Right here, please. Right here. Right here. Right here. This way, Matt. Matt. Right here. Look right over there. Oh, over there. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't find the camera there. He's not mine. <laughs> First prize, Daniel Cornish. Well done, Daniel. Britain's most wanted. <laughs> Class 11, which is the open first prize, Will Meadmore. Well done, Will. Cheers, thank you. Thank you. Cheers. And the money, go on. Pick up the money. I'll point tonight, that is. I'll do my best. Thank you. That's it. It's good. Can I have a new photograph? Good. You're a new. Yeah. Oh, okay. so, I mean, Old uh, class 13 Thank conventional you. open <laughs> Phil Nugent <laughs> I well it up Phil <laughs> Not too emotional please <laughs> Thank you very much well. indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Smile, smile over there. Okay. Not <laughs> candid camera. No side for it. Can I have a second chat? Yeah. Okay, class 14, horticultural, Andrew Pomeroy. Oh, here he comes. Oh, you're going to take it for him? Yeah, take it for him. Do you want to have a photo taken for him as well? No. No. I'll see him next Saturday, won't we? Thank you very much. Sixteen horse plowing general purpose, Kim Williams. <laughs> Kim over there. Oh, oh. Cheers, thank you. Well done, Kim. <laughs> thank you. Have one as well. Yeah. Okay. 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 Can I have your picture taken? Turn around. Look over there. Oh, that oh way. this way. That Come way. on, come this way. I need money. I need money behind you. Behind you, Pierre. Yeah. This is the Basil Williams Perpetual Trophy. Goes to Derek Hilton. Best working horse team. For the best working horse. Sorry, I beg your pardon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep, here we go. What's that? <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>
The Trellick Farmers Perpetual Cup goes to Charlie Molson for the best, for the youngest, for the, for the youngest competitor. The YFC Argus Cup for the best young farmer from Gwent goes to Charlie. Come on, get up. <laughs> Come on. You got a cabinet for this? Okay. Well, well done. Mummy needs a trophy cabinet. <laughs> Onto the champion now. Right. Champion playing with champion. Here? Right. This is it, I think. That's the way. That's the way. After again, I mean, missed it. It's gone. We're going to be auctioning off the bales of straw that you see on the showground. There's a hundred bales. We're going to auction them off in lots of ten to make it easier for you to shove in your boot. With, with deep gratitude to the Williams family in particular. The first prize is £50 worth of meat from the farm park. And the number is 258 on a white ticket. <laughs> you tell Dad now we can buy some new tyres with that car of yours. <laughs> Don't give him ideas. <laughs> Done. Got it? Right, yeah. come on, let's shoot then. Come on, gather round down here, please! Can we turn that generator off on the bouncy castle? Molly, ask them, can they turn the Jenny off on the bouncy castle, please? Be before we go, uh, where, where are the judges? Plowing judges. The plowing judges, that is? A couple down there. A couple down there, right, okay. Have we got right. some names? Avon Jones. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. No, thank you. Uh, Who else? Thank you. Alan Lucas. Alan Lucas. Morgan. <laughs> Thank you for your help. All right. I'll have your judges back, back, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Give you one and take with the other. Yeah. Who else we got? Uh, Bill Phillips. Bill Phillips. Well done. Thank you, Mr. Phillips. Thank you. Okay. Uh, George Phillips. George Phillips. It's gone home. It's gone home, is he? Yeah. Okay. And Phil Price. Phil Price. Yeah, no. Pleasure, I enjoyed it. Good, I thank you. Thank you. Badge, it? Hmm? I love your judges' badge. I love your judges' badge. We're going to have it back in, weren't we? And Richard Vaughan, he's an on house. Yeah. Edwin Elloway! Thank you, Edwin. Thank you very much. Thank you. And Richard Vaughan, who's gone home, so we'll keep that one as well. Okay, that's Is that it. it? That's it. Right, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, we've had a fantastic day. No more to be said really apart from have a safe journey home and thank you very much for supporting us. Well done. Mm. A lot of work. Yeah, yeah, it's worth it then.